So, as you can see, I'm rocking a twist set. And it's in a little fresh thing growing up and pinned up. So, the question of the hour is, why? Why did Miss Butterfly take down her beautiful, beautiful locks? Well, I remember you you guys can remember from the last video, a few videos before, how I was talking about how hair is breaking after I had this. So, I had stopped twisting my hair. And it was about three months that I stopped twisting it. So, I had a lot of new growth. And a lot of time to think. I was like, well, those ones in the front that where it was really thin and the lock was being held on by a few bits of hair. It made no sense to try to say that, that hair is going to ever catch up to it. And I'd rather not have chunks of hair way up here. Because that's where it was. So after oiling my scalp. See if that's going to wake up. Now she's out. Anyway, see if I'm... I was saying, oh, just decided to go ahead and comb them out. So I'd started like the last week of July with a, probably like a back row, just to see. And I would say, oh hell, I can't do this. And then I said, okay, gotta make a goal before my birthday to have them all out because I'm trying not to look like Aunt Jemima. I wore my head wrap. I don't have it over here. I, I wore the head wrap every day for like three weeks and. People who know me usually say when I have the head wrap on, it's because I need to retwist. I had it on so much, it just made me feel blah. Because I've always done my hair in different styles when I was relaxed. I would always, you know, braid it, color it, cut it, all kind of stuff. And for me not to be able to do anything, it just killed me. This one's sticking straight up. So, yeah. It looks like this now because, eh, whatever. But I sat there... They were to my bra strap, probably a little lower than that. I cut them up to here or here, wherever it was. And then, where's my little trusty tool, what I used? That right there. Trusty ace comb. And scissors, of course. I even tried with, a, I think, a, a pet comb, one of those pet tick combs under the sea if it was small, but it didn't work. And it took me two weeks straight of me doing it, and I finally finished it. I got pictures on my Folt Key um, album, so if you want to go there and check them out, I'll put it there as the process. Or maybe I'll just do a little slideshow. We'll see. Depends on how I feel. So, the questions I'm getting are, are you going to lock it back up? Yeah, but probably no time soon. I want to get a chance to play in my natural hair, which I've never done before. I've always had it in my locks or braided up for my locks. So, I want to get to do some styles. So, I want to get creative and whatnot and get to do it. I have, so let me take down the rest of them so you can see what they are. Because all I do is I tip a Picked them up, pinned them, and tucked them. And there's my twisty twists. You can see them. And the other day, well, last night, I flat ironed the front of my hair. And it came all the way down like that. So I'll probably end up flat ironing all one day just as an experiment to see what it looks like. And it's growing back. If you see that. Both sides are growing in. I've been using my Jamaican black castor oil, which has become my best friend. And I look crazy now. <laughs> and I went and bought some Indian oils, some Amla oil, some Bing Raj oil. I think it's in the other room. I also got some powders. And I'm going to try the Ayurvedic method, I think that's how you say it. Of hair, you know, using, you know, strengthening your hair and cleansing your hair. So I bought powders, I bought a, a shampoo bar from my hair. And um, maybe I'll, as I get a routine down pat, then I'll probably do a, a video in regards to my hair maintenance and stuff like that. At this time, I'm just trying to keep it healthy. 
grow it. Um, I see people take biotin, you know, and to help aid the hair growth. But being that um, Tink still gets mama milk, I'm kind of leery on what I take and what I and you know what I put because whatever I take, she gets. So I'm still leery with that. So I'm just trying to up my water, I'm trying to change my diet because I'm just not happy with where I am right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to change that, and uh, I guess. We'll see what happens with my hair. I don't have any goals for it as as far as lengthwise because it's going to grow. i me take out one of my twists so you can see what, what we're working with here. I mean, most likely tomorrow I'm going to wear a twist out. So I'm going to take all of these out and rock my little crimpled hair. Because Lord knows, once it gets away, it's going to shrink all the way up to here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully I answered the questions of why I took them down, how I took them down. I mean, it was just time for a change. It's been six years. I've, like I've said before, I went through two sets of locks in ten years. So you know, I'm not capable. My hair is capable of growing. It's just that. I've never had it loose, so I'm gonna rock it loose. No, I'm not gonna relax it. Uh, I don't have no inklings to, even though sometimes when I wash it and it sh the afro shrinks up, I just look at it like, uh, I want some creamy crack, but that's never gonna happen again. I'm not gonna perm it. If I want it straight, I'm just gonna blow it out or flat iron it. Um, Des took it kind of funny. She just looked. I said, you like me here? She just was like, Started cheesing and whatnot, so she likes mommy's hair. So, I guess that's it for now. And, um, leave me more questions, anything like that, of you know, what do you, you know, in regards to the hair, what I'm doing, you know, products and stuff. Maybe I'll do another video after this to show you the stuff that I'm gonna use. Um, probably not till Friday. Well, I guess tomorrow, being that it's Thursday already, I'll um, do my routine. I'm gonna put some oils in my hair the night before, pre poo and all that stuff. I'm going to start just co-washing now and then using the shampoo bar later. So I'm on, you know, different websites getting some knowledge on the natural hair that's loose. Because all I did was wash and twist and wash and twist. Oh, another thing. No matter how much you think you've gotten your locks clean, when you're doing the takedown process, you see some of the nastiest, gunkiest, icky buildup that you can possibly see. It was to the point where I would wear my t-shirts, but then I just sat in front of the garbage can until wherever I was doing and just picked it out because stuff was just falling out and it was disgusting. It's like I would go, went to get my pedicure done and they were like, you want your hair done? So I was like, no, not until I finish dealing with my hair, so I won't do all of that. But, uh, yeah. I'm just happy I was able to save some hair. See? I got... A good amount of hair. It's nice and thick. I try to decipher what my um hair type is. I'm going with a 4B. It's possible because it looks like a little pen spring when it's not stretched out. And I might have some other textures in there somewhere, but I don't know. Alrighty. I look real kizzy-ish. Well, what's... What was her name from Color Purple? It looked like I should be going, Mr. Mr. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let me get back to my show on TV and I will hit you guys later. I'm trying to find a stop button on this computer. Later.